guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I start using the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This is my favorite current foundation. It has high coverage and it stays in place all day. I use it in the shade 5. I know it looks pretty dark right now, but it matches with my body because I use fake tan. Now I'm going in with the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer and I use it in the shade light medium. And I'm going to apply this underneath the eyes like always. On my forehead, above the lips and a little bit on my chin. And um, this video was supposed to be a talk through, so that's why you can see me talking um, now and then. But something went wrong with the audio, unfortunately, so that's why I'm doing a voiceover right now. But I hope to do a talk through for my next video. Let me know in the comments if this is something you're interested in. I just feel like it might be a little bit more personal. So now I'm going in with the De Balm Contour Highlight Palette and I'm using the light pinky shade. And this is a matte shade so it's perfect to set uh, the concealer. Now for the eyes I'm going to use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I always use this to prime my eyelids. It has full coverage and once it dry it stays perfectly in place. I have to say that today it looked really weird. I'm not sure if that's because I blended it in with the Beauty Blender. But it looked totally different. So I did my brows quickly off camera. And the first eyeshadow that I'm going in with is by Makeup Geek. In the shade Mirage. Mirage. <laughs> and I'm using a Sigma E40 brush to blend this in my crease. And now you can really see that the primer on my eyelid looks really weird. Like it almost has faded away. And I'm going in with the MAC Rule eyeshadow. And I'm going to use this shade to create a sort of crease line. I'm using a very tiny brush by Morphe Brushes. I don't know the name. The name has completely faded away because I've used it so many times. But I guess this is the tiniest brush they have. And I'm just going to create a sort of circle. And no, not really a circle, but a sort of rainbow shape. And I'm using my Morphe M506 brush with that same rule eyeshadow on it. And I'm just going to blend this right on top of that line. And you don't need to worry since the eye primer has completely faded away and looks very patchy. But it doesn't really matter as long as your crease is nice and smooth. So now I'm going in with the Zigma E40 just to blend it out even more. And now I'm going in with the Makeup Geek Morocco eyeshadow. It looks a lot like the Rule eyeshadow, but it's slightly darker. So I'm using my Sigma E25 brush and I'm pressing this in my outer V. And this is to really um, get that eyeshadow pressed so you, ha you get enough color payoff. And then I'm going with my brush back and forth to blend that in my outer V. Now to darken it up, I'm going in with the Sienna eyeshadow by Anastasia. I'm using a tinier brush and this is the Morphe M506. I'm doing exactly the same thing as I did with that Morocco eyeshadow. Um, but this time with a darker shade and a tinier brush. To make sure that it's more blended out I'm going back in with the E25 by Sigma. Now I'm going in with the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer that I also used for underneath the eyes today. I wanted to try out this product see if I can use it on my eyelids. Normally I always use the MAC Pro Longwear uh, bleh, the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. But I felt like this uh, concealer works pretty the same. So yes, why not try it out? Now the first eyeshadow that is going on my eyelid is Peach Sorbet by Anastasia. I'm using my MAC 242 brush to press this in the inner corner. And now I'm using the Makeup Geek Legend eyeshadow. And this one is going right next to it. I'm using that same MAC 242 brush to press this on the eyelids. And I'm also slightly going to blend back and forth. Now I'm going to use the shade Flamethrower by Makeup Geek. And oh my god, this shade is so gorgeous. I have used it many times on my YouTube channel for my makeup tutorials. And it's really pretty. It's a very warm, orangey, shimmery shade. And I'm pressing this in my outer V. Now I'm going back in with the Sienna eyeshadow. I used this in my outer V and I'm just basically going back in with that shade in my outer V and I'm blending this around the edges to make sure that there are no harsh lines. Since I went in with a shimmery shade on the lid, I need to make sure that it blends towards the matte shades. Now I'm going in with the RXI Copper eyeshadow, eyeshadow, eye glitter. 
First time trying out this glitter and oh my god, it's so pretty. The texture really reminds me of the MAC Cosmetics glitters. But these are a little bit more affordable, thankfully. Um, but the glitter just matches so well with the shades. And I used MAC Mixing Medium to make it stick on the eyelids. So as you might see, I applied a lot of that glitter. I really wanted it to be very shimmery and I love how it looks. So now for my eyeliner, I use the Sigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner. And I applied a line along my lash line. And I'm also going to use this to create the shape of my wing. Normally when I create a glitter look, I prefer a liquid liner. But I do like to use the gel eyeliner to create the shape. So now I'm going to use the NYC Black Liquid Liner. And with this liner, I'm going to fill in that wing and I'm also going straight on top of the eyeliner that I already have applied to make it more black and I just feel like it looks better. Now I'm going in with MAC Rule Eyeshadow, same shade that I also blended in my crease. So I'm going to apply this straight underneath the lower lash line. And um, I really like how the shade that is in my crease comes back at the lower lash line. I just feel like it complements the whole look. Now for the lashes, I used Feisty Lashes from my own lash company. I will link them down in the description bar together with a discount code. And now it's time for the face. I use the MAC Mineralized Powder. I use this to set my face because my T-zone gets a little bit oily during the day. So I really need to set it with powder. And I'm going to use the The Balm Contour and Highlight Palette again and I'm using the contour shade. And I'm just going to carve out that cheekbone. I'm not using a lot of this product because I have slightly... Um, well, you already can see my cheekbones a little bit. So I don't want it to be too obvious. It just makes my face look really weird. And I'm also going to use the highlight shade from this palette. And I'm not sure if they placed the Mara Luminizer highlighter in this palette, but it looks familiar. But I feel like it might slightly be a little bit more gold, which I really like. And I have to say, I really like this palette. I'm not a huge fan of the blushes, so that's why I'm going in with the Sigma Heavenly Blush. The blushes in the palette are quite dark and I prefer some lighter blushes. But overall, I really like the contour and highlight palette by Debalm. Now for the lips, I'm going to use the NYX Natural Lip Pencil. Um, this shade looks very familiar with my own natural lip color. So I really like to use this lip pencil whenever I go for a nude lipstick. Now on top of this, I'm going in with the Lime Crime Buffy Liquid Lipstick. I'm currently really liking those nude brownie shades and this one is just perfect. And I also really like the consistency of the Lime Crime Liquids. So now I'm going to use the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. It was the first time trying this out and yeah, I kind of liked it. I don't really know what to say about it. So yeah, this is already the end of the tutorial. I really hope you enjoy. Don't forget a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. And I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!